This is probably a huge mistake. Hello, everyone. Um, something really funny happened this week that I have to tell you about. Obviously, a lot of really good things have happened. Uh, John Boyne's very welcome apology uh, was really heartening, and it opened the door to a lot of other people um, being very kind about me, um, journalists especially, which has been really amazing. Um, but, but anyway, while all this was happening, and I was getting this kind of, uh, um, oh, God, my hair, oh, no. Oh, I thought I missed that. Um, while all this was happening, and uh, and uh, I was getting a lot of uh, very very nice messages from people on Twitter about how well it was going, something was happening in the background. Yeah, no, it is congrat. Hi, Aleem. It is congratulations. It's been a funny week, but um, but yeah, it seems to be interesting. Things seem to be happening. I mean, you know, you can never call it because you know. If fucking they ignored Martina, they ignored J.K. Rowling. It's, it's much easier to ignore me. But anyway, do, things do seem to be going quite well, so it's really nice. But anyway, <laughs> um, a kind of a, a funny thing happened, which was um, so a few weeks ago, I was asked to go to a freedom of speech event at the Conservative Party conference. And uh, I said yes immediately because I'll talk about free speech anywhere and I don't think the Conservatives are evil monsters the way I used to because uh, I obviously realised that the left were lying about many, many things. Um, and as I always say to people, Conservatives never called me no bigot. But anyway, um, I was definitely going to do it. Uh, and I applied uh, for accreditation which is apparently usually a mere formality. Well, they refused it. I got turned down. So, uh, <laughs> so I've become the only person to be banned from both the Edinburgh Fringe and the Conservative Party Conference. So it's been a very funny few days. Now, the thing is, I kind of uh, immediately uh, looked into it. Uh, and I started asking, I realized, oh, if, if, you know, I said, who, why was I turned down? And they, uh, the Conservative Party, uh, said, well, the GMP, Greater Manchester Police, uh, have said that there's some problem with me some legal reason why I shouldn't go to the Conservative Party conference <laughs> to a thing about freedom of speech. Uh, so I was very surprised at this. I mean, even even now, I, I, I am still surprised by things like that, you know. But then, of course, I realized, oh, hang on a second. Uh, I've been reported to the police by... Uh, who has just been revealed to have been abusing 14-year-old boys. Uh, he was convicted for uh, assaulting one. Um, I've been reported to police by who is a who made the police come to my home when I was still married, come to my family home, which really frightened my wife. Um, so uh, is another person who's reported me to the police. Um, the man who uh, brought down David Bridal's business. Boys magazine, which was a gay magazine. Uh, David Bridal wrote a very neutral tweet about the LGB alliance, saying maybe we should have a listen to what these guys have to say. Immediately set about destroying that man's life and destroyed his business almost overnight, overnight by contacting every advertiser he could and saying boys are bigots. So that's the other person who called the police to my home. So that's three men who have been in touch with each other and who are friends with each other and have been pictured with each other. Yeah. I don't think it's been pictured with the other two, but the other two have certainly been pictured with each other. These three men have reported me to the police. And because of this, I think, uh, and I've, I've handed in a uh, freedom of information request to find out what's going on. Uh, because of this, uh, I have a strike against my name. So the police 
again, something I've been saying for about three or four years, are doing the bidding of these dangerous, sadistic, pedophilic, in, so, in one particular case, men. So uh, it would be really, really good if someone looked into this and took care of it. It would be really, really good if the police started knocking on the doors of these men instead of knocking on doors on their behalf. That would be really good, you know? Or are we gonna go on pretending that any of this is normal? You know, I just briefly want to mention, before I go, last thing, uh, I've been tweeting about it tonight because it made me so angry. But uh, what was the phrase she used? There was an article in The Guardian about Roisin Murphy's new album. Um, and the kind of subhead of the uh, article is Roisin Murphy Hit Parade Review, a masterful album with an ugly stain. The ugly stain, of course, is Roisin Murphy's recent comments about puberty blockers and how they are evil, which they are. But for some reason, there are still remnants of the left who are pretending that this debate is ongoing, that we are still kind of deciding, you know, whether it's worth, whether we should be uh, giving children drugs that sterilize them and put them on a medical pathway that they'll be on forever. The fact the Guardian are still pretending that this is a debate, when the debate is over, how dare they call it an ugly stain, call her opinions on this issue an ugly stain? How dare they? My God, do they really think they can get away with that now? Anyway, sorry, I didn't mean to go off on, on that as well. But anyway, that's what's happening with the cops. So um, uh, I, I didn't want to go public because I knew it wasn't the conservatives' fault. I knew it was the cops, right? The blame for this is on the cops. And I don't want to do anything because I think the conservatives are on this particular issue. And as you know, I'm a one-issue man at the moment. Um, on this particular issue, the, the conservatives have been great. And they've been fighting back against all this shite in a way that shames Keir Starmer. But anyway, sorry, I've got to try and stay on track. But that's the story. So they banned me from this fucking thing. So anyway, uh, yeah, I told, I said, I, we got in touch with the Conservatives. We said, surely this is going to be insane. <laughs> it gets out. They immediately uh, uh, went back into, a, into the system and put me back on it. So I'm going to the thing. So it's fine, you know. Uh, and I wanted to leave it. I didn't want it to explode in, in their faces because they've been very good and they've been very prompt. And they said, of course we wouldn't ban you, ban a gender critical uh, voice from the Conservative Party conference. So anyway, I'm going. And I'm going to talk about this issue. Um, but the Greater Manchester Police, on the other hand, I think have a lot to answer for. A lot to answer for. Why are there any strikes against my name? You know, because of three men who are who have been responsible for so much misery in the last five years. So anyway, yes, that's it, that's it, and uh, I, I I'll I'll leave it at that. I think because otherwise I'll just keep uh, getting angry. But isn't it? It's frustrating sometimes, isn't it? It's just incredible. How are they getting away with it? How are they getting away with it? An ugly stain. How are the Guardian getting away with it? How? Anyway, bye-bye. Lovely to talk to you. Everything is great. I'm having a good time. Uh, uh, things are good. Speak to you soon.